Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video, I'm going to show you the team I'm using for the class challenge in Stormcaller. Right, first thing I always recommend in these things is popping to the shop and grabbing tier 1. This is going to give you a potion of enchantment, which means all your troops are going to start enchanted at the start of every single battle. So if you intend to do this challenge quite a good way in, then that is totally worth getting. If you've already got Stormcaller to 100, this is not worth doing apart from you will get extra souls and gold and bits more besides. But if, like me, you actually really need to work on this class, this is a really, really good thing to do it on. So I will be grabbing that potion right now. Thank you very much. 30 gems well spent. Uh, one thing to note is there is a weapon all the one to tier 5, which is quite expensive. It'll cost you a lot of gems, but there's no need to actually buy it. This is exactly the same weapon you get when you get 250 class wins in Stormcaller. You'll get this weapon for free or when you've done that, so no need to go spending your hard-earned gems on this weapon. Right now to the fight itself. There's a few ways to go about this, but this is the way I like the best. Um, with these kind of teams, any troop that does damage to all is going to be a quick way of just burning through these class challenges. I like Queen Zochi. She does good damage to all, and then if there's a storm, which we can create a storm, she'll explode five gems, which is going to charge up the entire team at the same time. Now, with two of them, that is really handy, because when one casts, it starts charging the other one, and then when the other one casts, it's charging the other one, which works really, really well. And I've got Gruda there in third place, just to gain extra red, because he summons a firestorm, deals damage to all as well, and gains one magic boosted by red gems. Now, if you don't have a Queen Zotchi, you can put two Garuda in there instead. And if you have Phoenicia and Fancy doing it the mythic way, you can do that as well, but it won't be quite a faster charge as Queen Zotchi or Garuda. If you don't have those, you can go Taloka. That's pretty good. Deals 52, in my case, scatter damage. And if there's a storm, again, we can force a storm every single turn, deal a triple a damage. So that would be three times whatever amount that says on your game that can be a very quick way of going about it as well right uh, so like I say I'm going for two Queen Zochi and Garuda and the Staff of Storms the reason is this explodes 48 in my case yellow gems grant a random status effects to all Strix allies and has a summon as well and there's a lot to like about that on the traits kind of things we're in Stormcaller so we're going to conjure a light storm when my turn begins which is yellow and we like yellow so that is a good thing indeed Got a lot to work on on Stormcaller, but um, I've gone for Purification at the start and Resilience, Thunderfist and Fey Vengeance. On the banner side of things, I've gone for plus two red, plus one yellow, minus one green. We don't care about green, but plus two red is there to get that Staff of Storms charged up nice and quickly. And plus one is for Queen Zochi times two and Garuda. And we don't need plus two yellow for this because we're going to get plenty from the Storm. Right, so let's take this for a spin. With that potion of enchantment, we're all going to start enchanted, so we'll be looking for a quick match. Yellow is fine, we can get that. That won't take long to get charged up, and a single cast of Zochi, and we wipe out the opposition. The good thing about these classes is you get more XP than normal. Normally you get one XP when you play a game. Or around but here you get two so it's going to happen quicker and it's going to happen even quicker than that as well because you unlock rewards as you go along like round one you'll get 10 stormcaller xp round two another 10 15 for round three and so on so it can be a really nice boost to actually do these uh, class trials in a good way and speed things up that means you can unlock those champion talents a lot faster too which is super handy doesn't matter which order you do these things in I'll just do them in the order that they're there it doesn't actually make any difference I don't think yeah no yellow initially or red so might as well take that anyway and then grab some purple they are now enchanted we'll explode those gems which charges up the team we've always got a storm going on that light storm yellow gems fall more than the other colors not worried about that too much yet but that will become relevant later on when we have to cast more than once uh, to wipe out the enemy as their power increases 
But that won't be for a while yet. With the potion of enchantment, we're guaranteed all these troops here, these Zochi, Zochi and Garuda, they'll be charged up pretty quickly. So combined damage of them is way over 120 combined. So it's like, yeah, we're a long way from being in the realm of having to cast these twice at the moment. Hindler. That yellow and blue. One more cast and done. Like I say, if you don't have two Queen Zochis, you can easily put in two Garudas instead. Can you have three Queen Zochi? That would work really well as well. Whatever you fancy. Yeah, oh, I might have grabbed this yellow. So we're already on part of the way through round two. It doesn't take long. If you want to make things even quicker, you can grab more tears, which will give you a potion of explosion, which explodes gems at the beginning, and make things quicker still. But it doesn't always make things quicker, actually. That's um, a minor fib. There's sometimes when you see a really nice start at the beginning or a mana surge that you would have been able to get, which would have made things really good. And then the potion of explosion comes along and actually um, takes that away and <laughs> actually slows things down. So the potion of explosion doesn't always work in your favor. A bit like in the way as some of those uh, traits, for example, that may explode one yellow gem, for example, on a four match. That doesn't always work in your favor. Sometimes you see a four match and you see a move underneath that you want to take next and then that yellow gem explodes and actually spoils that plan you had next it's hard to plan moves ahead of the game when you've got those traits or champion talents that do that kind of thing that exploding one gem on a, on a four match for example it's not always a good thing i actually often turn that off just so so i get more control over the board it certainly can be handy sometimes but it's not always going to work in your favor Yeah, let's give Garuda a bit of the action, being as though High Forge has got a mighty one health point left. There you go. Queen's Zochis already, they got a backup of some sort. Not a problem. We'll do that and then Garuda. If on another one health point. Wow. Like I say, I will be getting more of these tiers to do later on, so I do want to give Stormcaller a good handy boost, and this is just, like I say, most handy, quick way of doing things. And literally, almost all these events, I can't think of one offhand that doesn't really apply to. These teams where you um, have damage to all enemies, like these, are the way forward. Pretty much on all of them. This, these events, the, the world events, always look for the troops that do damage to all, and then a hero weapon that explodes gems to give them all a quick charge. A simple method, but it works. Lots of green we don't need. Lovely chubbly. Missed the four-match there. Wasn't paying attention. These two Zochis all see able to deal on this. Alright, just do a couple more and we'll call this video a day video your day that one never gets old it never gets funny either but i'll still say it all right may as well this yellow beans are we going to need two casts from the zochi face 
do like a nice confident woman. Look at that, she wades into battle. Even without a bra. That's fantastic. What's not to like about that? Maybe a major distraction to her opponents if she, if she gives them the feathers a little flick out of the way now and again. Grab this full match, and that's got the yellow boosted. And we'll grab one more yellow. And we're guaranteed to cast Zochi back to back. I'll just do these last two, and that will be it. It's pretty clear how this works, and this is all you're going to be doing. Just charging those troops up and just casting them over and over. And it's pretty straightforward, and you use the hero weapon to get them charged up when you need it. Not even worried about skull hits at this point. If you're a lower level player, you may have to be wary of that sort of thing. Now they've got another boost, but nothing we can't deal with in due course. Right, last one, and then we'll check the rewards quickly. I do like these events and, uh, and things like this, though, because sometimes they really make you think a bit more out of the box, and you end up picking a, a team because of the uh, selection you were limited to. And quite often that team is something you wouldn't ordinarily have done or selected and sometimes you end up with a really good team and it's like that's really good I could use that somewhere else and that's why I like these kind of things because it makes you pick teams you just wouldn't ordinarily have so there look we've got um, round one two three done so we're going to gain an extra 15 25 35 XP which you'd be surprised how quickly that builds up so I'll we'll collect them now let's boost it up the Stormcaller to champion level 33 Got some extra gems too, and extra Stormcaller XP. And I'll be grabbing probably some of these later on if I fancy doing this trial more, but I'll use my extra sigils a bit later on. But there's a video, you can see how it works. A very simple team to use, and nice and easy too. There's a video, if you enjoyed it, be cool if you liked and subscribed if you've not done so already. But most of all, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye for now.